to see all of you. Good morning, boys and girls, and welcome back to Learning with Miss Sherelle. I am so excited to see you here. Well, before we begin, what is it that we need to do first? That's right, shake out all our jiggles, shake out all of our wiggles and all of our giggles. All right, who's ready? Thumbs up. All right, so stand up. You ready? Shake out your jiggles. Jiggle, jiggle, jiggle. Shake out your wiggle. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Shake out your giggle. <laughs> One more time. Shake out the jiggles. Jiggle, 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 jiggle. Shake out your wiggles. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Shake out your giggles. <laughs> Oh, that was so much fun. Let's sit back down and get ready for our time. So, what do you need to show me so that I know you're ready? That's right. I should be looking. Air should be listening. Good job. So, we are going to welcome all of our friends, okay, now that we are ready. So when I point to you, you're going to say your name and then follow the actions. We'll be ready. One, two, three. Where is, where is, please stand up, please stand up, do a little wave, clap your hand, sit back down, sit down please all right awesome job guys so let's move on to our feelings that's right i'm gonna show you a face and you're gonna tell me if it's the face that i'm making are you ready okay what face is that is it happy no thumbs down no okay is it angry? Thumbs down to that one too. Oh, okay. It was sad. Thumbs down to that one too. Oh. Was it, was it a surprise? Thumbs up? Yes! Good job, boys and girls. Yes, it was a surprise. I went like this. Oh, that's a way to show that. Oh my gosh. I was not expecting that. I did not know that was going to happen. Or we can always say too. I was so surprised. I didn't know, right? Mm -hmm. All right, guys, let's move on to our calendar. Yes, we're gonna talk about our calendar today. Oh, where's my pointer? Oh, here you are. All right, so it says yesterday was Wednesday. Mm, that was yesterday, so what's today? What is today? Mm hmm yep you're right we need to sing we need to sing the days of the week to find out what is today so are you ready on the count of three one two three go days of the week 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 there's Sunday and there's Monday, there's Tuesday and there's Wednesday, there's Thursday and there's Friday, and then there's Saturday. Days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. Hmm. So if yesterday was Wednesday, today is, who said that? Yes, it like rolls off your tongue. Today is Thursday. That's right. So let's say bye Wednesday and hello to what day is it again? Thursday. That's right. Thursday. And Thursday begins with the letter T. So we know today is Thursday. The month is, let me hear it nice and loud, October. That's right. And what letter is for October? Letter O, O for October. So we know today is Thursday. We know the month is October. 
What date is it? The date. Well, this is the 21st, right? What comes after? It's, it's missing. Yes, it is. It is so missing. So we need to do what? Count. We can count, and that's how we find out what comes after 21. So come on, let's count together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two. Awesome. Twenty two comes after 21 and 22 is a two and a two so we know today is let's say it together today is thursday october 22nd good job boys and girls and what season are we in because we can look at our friend bentley and he'll help us to decide what season we are in because the way he's dressed. What season are we in? Fall, that's right. We are in the fall season. How did you know? Right, because Bentley has on a sweater. He has on long pants and he has on his sneakers. So he is dressed for the season. He is ready to go. He's nice and warm. He's keeping his body nice and warm. And what happens in fall? What happens to all the leaves? Right, they begin to fall off the tree, and what else? Some of the leaves change colors, they're not green anymore, they're starting to change, what colors? Yellow, mm -hmm. what else? Orange, awesome! Oh, I heard that red, nice and loud, yes! What about brown, the leaves are turned brown, mm -hmm. You guys remember a lot. So let's move on from our calendar to our Alphabet. Yes, can you guys help me sing? Okay, come on. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time, won't you sing with me? Good job, boys and girls. And what letter are we learning about this week? Letter what? Letter J. And J is for jet. J is for jump. Good. And J says jump. Good. Awesome. Let's move on to our poem. So let's say it to together okay I'm a little pumpkin orange and round hair is my stem I grew in the ground when I get all cut up don't you shout just open <coughs> me up <coughs> excuse me <coughs> sorry guys and scoop me out So, let's move on to our, what, what are these? Our shapes, that's right, our shapes. And what shape are we learning about this week? The what? The octagon. So who remembers, how many sides does an octagon has? It sounds sort of like an octopus, right? And the octopus has how many tentacles? Eight, right? So the octagon has how many sides? Eight, that's right! You, you, oh my gosh, you guys are so good. So good. Let's count, just in case. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Awesome! All right, we're going to move on to our, what? Colors. That's right. So if you are wearing any of these colors, 
I want you to do what? What are we doing this week? That's right. We are tapping or touching our shoulders, okay? All right, let's begin. Is anyone wearing the color red? Orange. Blue. Yellow. White. Pink. Green. Purple. Gray. Turquoise. Brown. Black. Good job, boys and girls. You were able to let us know the colors you're wearing by touching your shoulders. You guys did such an awesome job. So we learned about the surprised feeling. We know that today is Thursday, October 22nd. The season is fall. We learned the letter J. J is for jet or jump. J says J. We read a poem about the pumpkin. We learned about the octagon and the action that we took to say the colors we were wearing is what? We touched our shoulders, that's right. Look at all that learning you guys did today. So, before we go off to moving and dancing, right? I have a question. So you know we're learning about pumpkins this week, right? So, do pumpkins have seeds? Yes, thumbs up, no, thumbs down, okay? Okay, so it's what you think, okay? It's your opinion, it's, don't think it's right or wrong. So if you think that pumpkins have seeds, thumbs up, that means yes. If you do not think pumpkins have seeds, thumbs down, okay? So who thinks that pumpkins have seeds? Thumbs up, okay. And who thinks pumpkins don't have seeds? Thumbs down, okay. So we're going to find that out today in a few seconds after a little dancing. You know, we've been sitting down for a little while. So let's get up and get ready to move our bodies. Remember, when you hear the music, we dance, okay? When there's no music, we turn into a pumpkin, okay? All right. guys so we did our little moving around and got the wiggles out again and the jiggles so now we're going over to go read our book and do our experiment so come on let's go all right guys are you ready for some reading so let's look at the cover of the book what's on the cover on the front cover of the book what do you see pumpkins that's right there they are pumpkins and where do you think the pumpkins are on the farm. Good job. They're in a pumpkin patch. So let's read the title of the story. It says, I pick fall pumpkins. Hmm. And the story is by Mary Lindine. So let's see what the story is about. Picking pumpkins. It is fun to pick pumpkins in the fall. Have you ever gone pumpkin picking? Thumbs up for yes and thumbs down for no. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Hey, well maybe this year you can go pick pumpkin picking. It's, it's fun, I like it. Pumpkins grow on a vine. Did you guys know that? And it 
this is a field where pumpkins grow. It's called a pumpkin patch. Oh, look at that. They are ripe and ready to pick in the fall. Pumpkins can be orange, which we talked about. Oh, pumpkins can be red. Wow. Pumpkins can be, what color is that? White, right. Pumpkins can be black. Pumpkins can be blue too. I had no idea. So this book is definitely helping me to learn some of the colors that pumpkins can be. Some pumpkins are small. Some pumpkins are tiny. So is our pumpkin small or tiny? Tiny, that's right. We have a tiny pumpkin right here. <gasps> Some pumpkins are big. Some pumpkins are huge. Wow. It says all pumpkins need soil, sunshine, and water to grow. A pumpkin has a stem. At one end, the stem connects to the vine. So here's the stem. The outside of a pumpkin is called the skin. It is hard and bumpy. So you hear that? It's hard and it's bumpy. The inside of a pumpkin is soft and mushy. It is called the pulp. Lots of seeds are also inside a pumpkin. So yes, pumpkins do have seeds. And it says these seeds can be planted to grow new pumpkins next year. Wow, that's cool. Some pumpkins are for eating. This pumpkin pie is soft and sweet. These pumpkin seeds are salty and crunchy. Pumpkin seeds are good for you, so maybe you should try some. What do you like best about pumpkins? What I like best about pumpkins is their color. I love the color orange is very pretty. What do you like best about pumpkins? Is it that you can eat them? Thumbs up. <laughs> or do you like them because you can carve them and make a jack-o'-lantern? Thumbs up to that? Yeah. Yeah, pumpkins are cool. So let's look inside our pumpkin that we have. That was the pumpkin that we were looking at during the week. So inside, as you can see, the pumpkin has seeds, see? So this is the top, and I pulled it off, and inside were seeds, and I'm touching it. And yes, it is very mushy, very, very mushy. So if you get a pumpkin, maybe you can carve one with your parents and touch it and feel inside. So, do you guys know what this is? Vinegar and some baking soda. Do you know what happens when vinegar and baking soda get together and clash? <gasps> well, we are going to find out. I'm excited. So first, we're gonna pour some baking soda. Okay, so we're going to pour some inside our pumpkin. I wonder what's going to happen. What do you guys think is going to happen when we pour this bacon soda and vinegar inside the pumpkin? And we're going to drop some food coloring. What color is this? Blue, that's right. So we're going to drop a little in. Okay. And we're going to see what happens. I'm excited. What do you guys think is going to happen? Who said that? You think it's going to explode? 
Do you really? Well, we're going to find out. Ooh, look guys! Isn't that cool? Look at what's happening! It erupted, right? The baking soda and the mixture of vinegar made their chemicals together, made this explosion. Would you like to see it again? Oh, so cool. Look at it. Awesome. It's erupting. It's erupting. Look at that. Did you guys like that little experiment? Yeah, maybe you can do this at home. This was cool. cool. If you thought it was cool, thumbs up. You did? All right. Cool. All right, guys. Hold on. Did you hear that sound? Yeah. It's that time again, but guess what? Maybe you can try this now. Go do some more learning and have so much fun today, okay? I will see you again tomorrow. Bye.